guys welcome back to AJ's tech so today we're, I'm gonna be talking about the uh, c 390 p motherboard because many people have been asking me how to make it compatible for mining for like six or more GPU like more than four GPUs and yeah I had a lot of trouble with this motherboard I spent like about a day but um I came up with the settings that actually work so right now I'm running a uh, four five eighties and um, one Vega 56 and one uh, 5600 XT on my, my uh, rig and they're running well so um, in the background by the way I'm showing like all my settings in my BIOS like the yeah my BIOS settings and pretty much what you have to do is first of all update your motherboard of course always do that update it to the latest BIOS and then um, like copy all the settings that I have and then you also need to make sure that when you're um, putting in your GPUs, you have to put it like in one by one. So put in like your first GPU, make sure it works. Then put in the second one, make sure it works. If it doesn't work, try another GPU or something. And then if you do that with all these settings, everything should be working. So currently my um, my rig, I have Hive OS on it, which is really, really like helpful. Because iveOS has like the app and like you can monitor everything and it restarts by itself and everything. But uh, yeah, also the Z390 motherboard is really a good deal because it's not that expensive. Like in comparison with other mining motherboards. But like it's really good. Like if you once you get it going, it's a really good deal. So yeah, the rest of my uh, rest of the video is just going to be my... Um, my settings and then i'm also gonna have some of the um like i'm gonna have a picture of what uh what's the difference between my settings and like the default setting like if you're going from my settings to default what it would change so you just do the reverse and then you'll see that's that'll be what you need to do in order to get your settings to work by the way guys don't forget to join the mining server because if you need any help there's many people that will help you including me sometimes and also final thing um with these settings that i have if you put anything more or less it will not work because i've tried like changing some other stuff you have to have the exact settings in order for the motherboard to work anyways if you like the content in my videos please uh, consider subscribing and don't forget to like see you guys in the next one